If you've studied our history, you already know Sigma men were built for times like these. Navigating triple pandemics in this country requires men taught to think in threes. Brother James Weldon Johnson put the lift in every voice that sings. A. Philip Randolph organized a march that made earth and heaven ring. Brother John Lewis fought to the end. His good trouble is cultural gold. We registered voters and stood in line because Phi Beta Sigma got soul. We got soul. Oh, 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 oh. Phi Beta Sigma got. What were those visionary men thinking? Starting another community service organization in the dead of winter? What was so attractive about adding culture to service for so many educated men across the diaspora? In 1914, we needed a map, a rubric, and a blueprint. And the founders gave us a creed, rules, and a constitution. When we needed courage and hope, they gave us songs, chants, and colors. When we needed armor, weapons, and tools, they gave us brotherhood, scholarship, and service. Six years later, when we needed longevity and strength, they gave us constitutionally bound soul roars. Oh, brothers, we were given everything we need to be successful. Let us renew our commitment and celebrate our glorious band. But before we go thundering back along the lines, before we let our cause speed on its way, Let's give a shout for Brother A. Langston Taylor, for Brother Leonard F. Morris, for Brother Charles R. Brown, because Phi Beta Sigma got so. Phi Beta Sigma got so. <laughs>